Take my love, take my land, take me where I cannot stand. I don't know, I'm still free. Don't you take that sky? <laughs> only, only kidding, folks. It's me, Cthulhu Luigi. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. Oh, it did this cutscene again. Anyway, no um, hiding, he's in the first and foremost, folks hopefully, like I'm audible over the mean Lania. old Mr. Narrator. Rux, as they call him. He's relieved to see a living oh, face or two. I can't remember if I ended on him being called Rux or not, but it's not Both really a spoiler. It's just the thing that the game doesn't tell you at the beginning. For the first time. Anyway, hopefully, blah 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 sounds are better. And yes, I distinctly remember Zolfoff looking at all the these things. Plot the skyways for the kid. At least the calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. Into the sky, indeed. Yeah. So I. 99% sure I already showed all that plot and... That's why and this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna yeah, be Yeah, this is right. the first it, uh, video in the recording session since I uploaded anything. Well, look what we have here. Yeah, yeah, it's very ethical choices. I'm gonna go with the memorial, memorial because it makes you have yeah, money. Yeah, can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. Basically, this is just like little achievements just that dump money on you. Sketches. Doing Nothing things more. that are good with weapons, progressing the plot, killing stuff. It's all it's all good. Words can't pretty, pretty standard fare, but it's convenient but when you're like trying that. to upgrade things. Speaking of which, I don't have any upgrade material. That's that's cool. What am I using right now? Okay, know what? I'm gonna be slightly more interesting and go with that. And uh No I, I like the squirt lure. Anyway, yeah, this the is the first video since, um, choices of the Ura Hunters okay, even though you can hear me better over the we narrator, down a couple more cores near the edge of the city. it didn't stop being distracting There's Pith Orchard, built in honor of the bull, to have the game help like itself Zolf for me. Pray to him. Oh, I don't even have any background files, uh, programs open. Still complaining about I'm using too much of my CPU just because I'm recording and no technically streaming the gods these and days. playing no a game in HD. Either. Wow, wow, wow. It's, it's cry, cry me a river, make me a bridge. Kid says and little make prayer me a anyway. Couldn't hurt, right? You know what? I, I, I'm agnostic atheist, but I'm all for any religion that a prayer involves sleeping. Piff orchard. Place is a dead end in more ways than one. Yeah, so that's just like dramatic thing. Somewhere, if you wander through levels enough, you start finding relatively Folks important things. And I think this is the first one that you could feasibly pith, miss. The bull. Cause like well, a lot of the other little plot the artifacts, like the Ura sigil, are basically Seems straight in your way. Much of a watchdog. Okay, yeah, it's not like super well hidden, but you have to break through the little guy. The gods don't care about trinkets, but the kid ain't no god. I fucking love trinkets. Um, anyway, yeah, this isn't quite as popular as I maybe hoped it would be, but after <laughs> the it game eaters incident, something, once. something real certainly got a. In time, surprised though, how many people still want to take a chance on me, and decorations. since I got so many of my subscribers through playing even save the greatest subjects. and latest games, probably coming back after a year and starting up some indie thing isn't the best way, but no, I, I still really enjoy this game, and I'd rather play something that I don't hate. <coughs> Super Mario 3. Oh. Then a decent scarecrow try to sell out. I don't know. Speaking of selling out, I still didn't. lights up like a rodeo. What? Oh, yeah, you get a uh, thing that you get the mini achievement for. for this is just breaks into getting a combo with that. And that it's pretty easy, especially in something that doesn't attack too frequently, like the mechanical bull. Um. So I'm just going to practice my power shots while I regain my focus. I've been trying to talk about that thing for like so the last three minutes. Be? Invoke the gods or tell them Yeah, off. this is what I was alluding to where Kill. the game actually gets harder. You basically, uh, if you're familiar with Halo, decides to or at least the Halos with skulls in them, these just make some aspect of the game harder and Blue then the give you more points out of it, except they because it's a RPG-style leveling. 
the points actually do something. Oh, and you get the currency too. So yeah, that's a good deal. Uh, in my main file, uh, after beating the game for the first time, get I pretty much kept quick. at least two or three on at all times. That weren't the ones that make it terrible. There's some that do make it terrible, and we'll probably get to those in time. I don't know, that is sort of the kind of thing that you might miss just in the first playthrough, and I don't intend on doing everything here, but... I don't really understand what they're doing. I can't actively recall seeing them act like that before. All the squirts punching together. Oh, alright, and the other thing I wanted to reference about this being the first video since I've posted any videos is... I feel like I probably haven't posted the video where I suggested you tell me if you want me to do the things in the comments yet, but that was also me being awkward and forgetting how to let's play and making up, oh right, you're supposed to block the flamethrower, right. Yeah, that, that makes it a lot, a lot easier to not die here, and not dead. Th th this this really early level in the regular game, not New Game Plus, with only one hard making thing on, is really hard. Don't don't judge me. It's it's because I'm losing my train of thought and I'm embarrassed. It ain't me focus on that more than the game. Zolf's precious shrine. Fantastic commentary, I know, but yeah, that's now we can build a shrine of our probably own. the first part of the game. Alternatives. Well, I mean, the entire game alludes to the backstory, but I personally thought that was interesting how, like, there are gods that you can invoke for they are challenges, justice. but they, seem they don't really have a direct effect on the game. Oh, All right, and there is this. And I didn't mention it earlier, uh, there was a little thing you talked to Rux about, and that came up. Zolf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. Yeah, so the Ura are more, um, religious than the, I want to say, Ceylondians. He was the born in the Tazel Terminals. Not Ura or the Ura Kals, sent him on a mission of peace to us. I've already established I'm not the best at in-game lore, and Zolf, especially Ceylondian remembering like on the spot. Home. Yeah, Ceylondians real word about his are a reasonable estimate. Too. Far to the east. But, uh, yeah, now we have a little cow here, and it does this. Turn him round and round all you like. Pith's still gonna be ugly. Well, that's for me. I, I, don't, I don't know. I can appreciate any steampunk gods. The Ura feared the gods. We turned them into toys, put their faces on our walls. So I like this. We fought There's the a little bit implied ago, morality here, like, oh, Things you have this big city and this big now. wall. We could always see the and stars. little hamburgers we just never could reach and uh, no matter how stop worshiping go. the gods, right? But that, but that, who, who's the only survivor with a space platform? That, that's what I'd like to know. Okay, I got something coarse, and I don't have the coarse launcher yet. It's a delightful pickle. Okay, this is a tricky one. Can't remember if I had this last time and talked about it already, but this is one of the two training grounds I wasn't able that to do in my first fort, run through the game, the marshals used to watch or at all yet, because it's just timing and you can't upgrade it to make it really easy. And I wasn't particularly invested to try more than once or twice, but There's only for the sake of completion I will do all of the training grounds in this game, or in this hard playthrough. Sure, the city um, marshals may be gone. Although, I can't promise how many are going to be like interesting, fun challenges and how many are me gonna just be like getting to end game. Actually, you can't really grind very easily in this game, that's an interesting point. But basically, yeah, blah blah blah, end game, upgrade weapons, win. I was able to do it with the resources I had my first run through before starting the new game plus. Um, the presence of New Game Plus is a little bit of a spoiler, I guess, but... There, I've said it. You, you, can, you can have a New Game Plus. If, if that ruined the game for you, I'm sorry. Um, 
but yeah, you keep your upgrades in the New Game Plus, hence why it's a New Game Plus. And obviously it's easier to do things at the beginning of the game when everything is already broken, and then you also get the little god sigil things, and everyone's happy, and it's challenging fun for everyone. Alright, let's see if I can talk about relevant things instead of weird... I mean... Yeah, I think that was the main problem of the last recording session. It was all weird meta commentary. This level... I... Yeah, I accidentally only paid attention to the story the first run through the game, but... Um, it's not a workman's ward, it's like the city defense police... Uh... Something like that. Like, so much of this game, like, it's not obvious just from paying attention to the level intro, although it would be a little more obvious if I had done that thing. Okay, let me try to counterattack without dying. Wham! Kids ready for the windbags this time. Yeah. Basically, if you shield immediately as you're about to get hit, young and old everyone wins. There's another one of the hat siblings there. Interesting that they had a strange brother. Everyone who wears a top hat is related, I think. Okay, I would prefer not to die. Oh, okay, that's a way not to die. <laughs> I thought I died and like auto revived or something there. Yeah, marshals and they're some group of people that use this. And this is, I think, right about when I started, like, really liking this game. Because you have a shotgun. I like, like, the bone pistol and stuff, thematically nice. Uh, as a necromancer in Diablo 2, I really appreciated shooting tiny bones at people too much. Um, but, there's a little bit of power creep compared to the unupgraded basic early weapons that having a full shotgun just sort of feels ridiculous against all these little squirts. I mean it gets stronger but I think I my first run through I used this for like most of the game uh, until I got a couple of the very last weapons which I guess they were probably the most powerful, but they also happened to be the most, like, conceptually pleasing to me. We'll get to that in good, good due time, though, and... Trying not to, uh, go off topic, but also trying not to make a bunch of layers of meta-commentary about how I am off topic. Oh, I should be using the squirt lotion, right? Business underground, like in the old days. So I'm pretty sure all the... whoops. Okay, yeah, the platforms disappear from under them, and I wasn't paying enough attention to the graphics. But, uh, I'm pretty sure all the types of turrets count as the same thing. I might be wrong on that. I mean, the only real indicator of enemy types is the little, uh, thing in the memorials that says, like, fought 25 different enemy types, and I think up to this point there have been maybe five. Can't remember, probably more than that, but you don't start getting... can't use the martial supplies. But the kids sure can. So yeah, if you got bored of the scrap musket already, this is where you can trade it back. I think I'm gonna stick with it just for the rest of the level because it has so many squirts in it. As for the windbags, Cinderbrick gave them enough heat and metal to munch on for a while. And now we're on Rainbow Road. Well, the fort ain't theirs, my right. And can't blame yeah, pretty standard one. level after this point. Just escape and not, not die. Not scratch on him as he presses on the higher ground. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't think I've gotten that before, because most of the time I'm dumb and get scratches on me. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, there was some achievement for, um, hitting a bunch of enemies at once, and I hit a bunch of enemies at once. It's interesting. I had to, like, specifically work for the achievements first time through. Maybe I'm starting to, uh, passively get better at the game with time. That's, that's Crazy thought. Oh, I forget if we've seen the flamethrower turrets or not, but there are like five or six different types. There's rapid fire, standard fire, flamethrower, weird homing one, weird 
scatter shot, which was that one. Uh, not too exciting, and I still think they count as the same general enemy type, so they don't help us with the achievement. Kids got a squirt not achievement the memorial. In case things turn sour. I don't think that's what they call it. Let me let me check the. Okay, they just call it the Marshals for that one, so I don't know if there's a general name for it. Not very informative. Sorry. Okay. It told me to. Yeah, these yellow suckers are faster and stronger. But then again, the non-yellow big suckers are also faster and stronger, from what I've gathered. Secured his plane gone haywire. Windbags gummed up the works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the I don't know if that's the first time there was a flamethrower one. They're actually sort of tricky at this point in the game before you have any really strong long-range weapons. Because if you get close to them, they're you can only counter the first one and it doesn't usually do very much to them. And that'll eat through your health really quick. But shotgun does relatively short work with them, especially if you can keep it efficient and get multiple at once. I think the shotgun shotgun does more damage at close range, or it might just do more damage if more of the spray hits them. I haven't done extensive testing on that. It ain't afraid to get burned. No, I am not. Yeah, the health potions do make the combat in this game pretty low risk. But it's still definitely a challenge if you have a lot of the gods turned on. And it sort of makes the combat more fluid. I, I like it. They trap the kids. Of course I also like easy games, I guess, so. Alright, boss time. I thought this was boss time. Why did I think this was boss time? Spawn some enemies time, I guess. That's almost like boss time. Bring out yeah, the there was. That's what I remember. Okay, so they take a really long time and they knock out the floor when they swing. They got something to gain, and only their sorry hides to lose. Um, not particularly hard. They don't have that much more health than a uh, standard. Um, they are not scumbags. They are windbags, and the little ones are squirts. And they are all apparently the same creature at different parts of their life cycle. I think it just randomly says that during the loading screens. It's not like a... Maybe it mentions it somewhere in the plot too, but. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the scumbags will kill themselves. That's actually important in one of the training grounds things. Okay, come on, let's. They're almost done. The uncles go out with a whimper. Kid takes that, Ludus. Maybe it was bland. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, this is actually a longer level than I remembered. I think the problem is... Well, like, I definitely took my time with everything first run through of the game, and then more recently when I did this level for a second time, I just was, like, bored and skipped all the combat, and for the sake of not seeming bored with the game and He'd use the dream of getting skipping bad, everything. But not like I've this. been trying to at least do most of the combat. And now ain't nothing left for nobody. And experience isn't sad either by any means. Scrap musket is especially Kid powerful. shows up just as Ulf's telling me about his own journey to the city. Seems the only thing the calamity saved for Zolf was his smoking pipe. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, you can smoke that with E, and you'll get knocked out and sent to bonus game hell. Um, the marshals seem like not gonna do that man, right now because I won't be able to survive. They treated him with dignity. Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. Yep, they really don't tell you what that does until you jump into it. Um, even since the Ura surrendered to us. It's actually pretty interesting. I'm going to keep quiet about what they are exactly. Um, but... Maybe not totally towards the end of the game. Probably, yeah, probably 
right before the end when I'm trying to grind and upgrade everything as much as possible, I'll head through that. Should be interesting. <laughs>